Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back. We are in episode two of Something to Scream About. Woo! That was terrible. I'm not a fan. Oh! That's a bit <laughs> there you go. Peak city. Peak city. Um, oh, yeah, fuck. Anyway, how are we doing, boys? How's things? We're good. Yeah, Pretty we're good. good. Good, good. Not bad. Not bad. How sad? Can't complain. Um, yeah, so let's let's go a little bit through what we've been we up to. Let's give a little update to start off the the show for the week. Give something for the peoples to listen to. <coughs> oh, well, our last gig was the Scullygans, yeah? Yes. The Scullygans. Yep. The Scullygans in sick. Fortitude Valley in Brisbane sell out. Not us, yeah. but we sold it out. 50 people. Yeah. people sell out. <laughs> Andy, you're not supposed to tell them how many people. <laughs> <laughs> we sold all five tickets. And, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Certainly yeah, seem a lot less cool. Yeah. No, it was good, eh? So um, this one was a more intimate venue and uh, a little bit smaller. We were able to interact with the crowd a bit more, I thought. Um, yeah. Being on the same level and around. Shout out to the headbanger guy that kept rocking up and... Headbanging literally the entire set. Yeah. So, Mr. Sign My Shorts. That yeah, was we Mr. All signed Sign his My shorts. shorts. If you're listening, buddy, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Great energy. Good crowd. Good energy. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, yeah, I like what you said. The, the smaller venue sort of created, like you could really see the crowd and it's probably the biggest crowd we've had, even though it's only 50 yeah, people. It it's like fucking, it's pretty good, eh? Yeah, and it felt, yeah, like you, you know, you're saying it's a bit more sort of interaction with the audience it's like something that we are trying to work on is to connect both our on stage presence with the audience and having some sort of like you know i guess stage show or like i said presence but you know a bit more of an interaction and trying to get eye contact with people or turning around and working together like we're yeah. playing together and turning to each other and having a bit of a head bang and things it's like really that. dope when you play a section of the song that we all like like the breakdown, and you see the actual crowd react to yeah. it. Yeah, and then it I, feels when, I remember so good. during the Misfit breakdown, and you could literally see like people that not even like our friends or family, like actual people we've never met, like full head banging to like the part. I thought that was really cool. It was amazing um, to get that sort of feedback, and yeah, it's really it's awesome. So yeah, good it, stuff. It was good fun. A lot more intimate. Um, yeah. It was amazing. I, I really liked it. There was no stage. You could look at everyone in the eye. Um, yeah. And the stage presence, it felt better this, this time around. I feel like, like we're, we're coming into gig. our own now. Yeah. Definitely. Even the rehearsals are, rehearsals are more um, laid back and just more, you know, there's not pressure anymore now that we've had was three gigs now, yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Yeah. The pressure is starting to come off. You get more stage time. You start to get a little bit more familiar with how it works, of going up there and, you know, not just – I think you said last time, like, what note do I play? And, like, you're focusing exactly yeah. on the right lyrics yeah. and all this kind of stuff. So it's like it's better to I didn't to have drop that. my pick this time either. You did, I dropped hey. a stick. You did yeah, you threw a stick. stick at me. Andy's yeah, cabs <laughs> just turned off. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, we had some um, – What was that? We, we played through combos, which I didn't We had think some we questionable cabs yeah. that were supplied. So no smaller, smaller amps than we usually play through. Yeah. We didn't run through the front I of house. Thought, did you run through the front of house? Yeah, only me. You did. I was yeah. meant to, but we didn't because the, the PA system was quite small. Yeah. But, yeah, it was pretty good. Hey, Min Ball. All that aside. I thought you stood on your jack. I thought you were, like, jumping. Yeah, no, and you it, just, step, it just died, it, man. It just stopped and I just it looked just at you like 20 I don't know if it was a lead. Yeah, or yeah or it's it like, the, what's uh, going on? <laughs> the combo or, yeah. No, it was, yeah. it was all right. Like, you know, these things happen. These things happen and... Uh, it was a good example of what can go wrong, especially in, you know, sort of what I would call our sort of first few shows or beginner level shows where you don't get the opportunity of having a full massive stack of an amp and whatever. And you have to deal with whatever you get given, um, you know, mm. like same with the like the drums and stuff. Most of the time we all share like, yeah, share cabs, share drums, share everything. And it's just like you've got to deal with what you can to get the show done and then when things go wrong right in the middle of a set like you we just get cut well. out we yeah. handled it well well me and you did because we kept playing yeah i think <laughs> <laughs> i think I, I was rapping and i was just like turning my face like uh, d- yeah. d- to the basic <laughs> matrix keep it your blind yeah. <laughs> like, the sound and, guy and he's was, like oh, the sound guy was pointing at me too he, he's like 
and then it just came back in. Yeah, it just I, came I back. He didn't do anything. It just, it just, just turned back on. It was like it's and, like some kind yeah. of a remote. He's like, yeah. <laughs> he's, just, he's, just, he's just turning it off and on. Someone was flicking the switch out the back, turning me off. Yeah, they were <laughs> bloody hell. Stitch up. Um, but yeah, no, that was good. And uh, that was last weekend. So we're full week ahead of that. Speaking now. of a full week, we should have been at full tilt. Yeah. But true. we're not. Oh, yeah. Segway. And we're doing this instead. Absolute bummer. Um, Do you yeah. like that little segue? So that, that was a good segue. That nice. Good segue. Um, yeah, Thank North you. Lane was supposed to be today. I love you, North Lane. If you're listening to this, please sponsor us. Yeah, we'd sponsor. love to go on tour. <laughs> um, <laughs> Take us with you. <laughs> give me your guitar. Yeah, give us your guitar, man. Uh, yeah, we were supposed to be there. Um, obviously, we would have been fully responsible adults um, attending a show for absolutely. research purposes only. Yes. Um, absolutely. <laughs> But, um, Researching their gear. Me and Andy would just be like, that's this. They're using Kempers. They've got that. Yeah. Totally just be eyeing everything off, eh? Well, that's <laughs> that was the kind of point, wasn't it? Thornhill's to dope too. It was like us as a band, go do some research, go and figure out like what we... You know what we need to be able to achieve that sort of level of show yeah. and like get inspiration from the, the yeah. big bands, playing, well, see what they do. Yeah. We've all we've all gone and seen bands live, but I've never watched a band whilst also being in a band. This would have been the first time, so you would view the show completely different. It wouldn't just be from a fan perspective where you're just enjoying the music. It'd literally be from like a, a musician standpoint. You're like actually studying what they're doing live and, and what's going on. That's what I'd be We'd doing. We'd be analyzing anyway. it for sure. Yeah. yeah. Definitely yeah. not whilst absolutely off your head. Yeah. Drunk. Total <laughs> bummer it's not happening, man. I've been looking forward to One this eye for open. weeks and months and just forever. Yeah. It's not like it's Damn. not going to happen though. It's been postponed. But until the next it lockdown. was supposed to be. It was supposed today. to be right Propaganda. now. <laughs> Sorry, right off, now. guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it was postponed because of various different situations. I think it's pretty, mm. pretty unfortunately um, common for things to be postponed at the moment. Um, but it just means that, like, for example, North Lane and all of these guys would have been ready, booked, flights, accommodation. Like, they would have been rehearsing. They would have had all their stuff ready to roll. And then... It obviously gets taken away from you. They might have invested a shit ton of money into yeah, time, money, time, money, 100%. effort, whatever. Even into in terms of like it is postponed, but we get cancels and stuff from various different things, and it means that you miss out on all of that like time and energy you've spent putting into it. I don't understand because there's some industries are open where you're like right next to each other and it's all good, but the live music is just getting absolutely cranked on. Yeah. The it's music, like anything that's fun and enjoyable for the citizens seems to be getting shut down. Yeah. True. When, yeah. when music it was industry's surprise, taking a surprise. massive hit right now they across have. the globe, man, in and Australia. Who was sure. the ones that come out in times of crisis and raise money for everyone putting concerts on for free? It's the bloody artists, the bands. Yeah. Like it's us. Like we're the ones who step up. Well, not us personally, <laughs> three gigs in. But, we're, you know, we're like – I'm just talking about the industry that, you know, that's where we step up and – I feel like you're right in terms of people don't really see that side of it, um, which is a shame. But it means that bands have to adapt. It means that, well, music in general, performances, all sorts have to adapt. And we've seen in the last, well, year or so, the increase of live streaming from Bands that have like a space or, you know, artists that just want to do a little at home concert and then they live stream it either. For, well, mostly it's been for free, which yeah. has been cool because, you know, we I remember watching, especially last year, I got to see so many artists that I wouldn't normally get to see in that particular way. And well, even in general, and then you get to see they put on a free concert. That's just like right there. Yeah, that Post yeah. Malone when he did the Nirvana set, that was dope. Yeah. So good. Yeah. See, stuff sure. like that is it's people having to really think about, okay, if we're not going to be touring, yeah. if we're not allowed to leave our house, um, what can we do? And They're how, adapting. Yeah. And how can we still bring… Bars adapt over car. I've yeah. noticed heaps of merch online like big bands. Yeah. Um, they're yeah. just pumping out the merch right now. I guess they're just trying to make bank because they can't tour. They can't make the cash they Gotta usually make. Got to make money somehow. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, money um, that comes from yeah shows is, well, we're not talking from experience, but money can comes from shows is a big portion of your- I would love uh, to yeah, get if money. If you're doing it full time. From yeah. fucking if, if that's your only yeah. income. Yeah. We're losing money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every yeah. gig. Petrol, Woo! parking. My drinks. girlfriend's going to leave me food and it's like oh <laughs> how much did you guys make from this it's you show? or the band sorry babe 
We almost broke even this time. Yeah, almost. We nearly. almost. But we're still in debt from the last few shows. We'll almost break even in a couple of years. It'll be sick. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's like, that is a, a good point to mention is the fact that, you know, like touring is a massive income for people who do actually make good money off shows. And it's backwards now. Yeah, it's going backwards. Like you just, you're literally rocking up and then, well, even most, some people will come set up for the show and it's like next minute sorry it's cancelled like you don't get any refund you don't get any of your money back whatever um and then it's just like go back to the drawing board what can you do and then giving away free live streams one thing i've seen um i can't give you the name of who it exactly is but there's a few people cropping up that are starting to do paid live streams so for example they'll put on a concert that normally you'd pay you know 150 bucks or something, 100 bucks to go and see. But now they're doing a sort of at home version where you can just tune in from home and you might pay 12 bucks, 15 bucks yeah, not to much. do the stream and like to be to get your like ticket. And I don't know, like, would you do that? If it was your if like, it was someone favorite, I really liked, yeah, yeah, I would. If it's my, my favorite band, I probably wouldn't do it for everyone. Say, okay, say t- today's gig, because it was supposed to be today, North Lane, the whole show. They were said, right, instead of, you know, let's fly to Brisbane, let's do it from Melbourne and we'll charge people 10 bucks to watch the show from home. Yeah, I would. If like, I would all watch- you boys did and we all had drinks, yeah. for sure. I would watch bucks, it. Yeah. However, I would like- much prefer to Obviously, see it in yeah. person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the reason I say this is because, like, for example, internationals, there's just no way we're going to see anybody for a while. So yeah. I think, like... I think I don't know whether I'm in right in saying this, but I think I mentioned to you guys earlier about Green Day doing a, like a bit of an international tour, so to speak. But it's all live streaming, and they have live stream events, and I think even places are setting up like a, say a function room or or something, and they'll put a big screen in and put some speakers in and like create a, an experience. But it's like you're watching them from the yeah through the computer. Yeah, and like me personally. I, like you said, I'd rather be same. there. It's not the it's same. It's not the same, no. But it is a fraction of the price. Yeah. But it's not the same and it doesn't provide that. Like we were saying, we're trying to get our stage presence and connect with the audience yeah. and try and get to a point where we can really have that connection with the people that are listening to our music. You don't get that. Does no. Would Green Day have like a live stream so they could talk to like the audience in the function room? And yeah, they have, they have like a live chat for sure. Yeah, yeah there's a live chat. Talk to yeah, them. the chat will be like flying to the point There'd be too many people. You wouldn't be able to read it. Yeah. They wouldn't be doing it if they could travel. So it's kind of like yeah, the next. Yeah, best that's thing. that's a tricky part. Is like what's the logistics? That's all of it, it would be. Is it's the it's not the best thing, but it's the next best thing. Yeah, it's still giving you a show. It's never going to be as good as if it was live, but it's something. Yeah, and what else can you do? Exactly. Like someone like Mark Rubier made his whole career off like live streaming, and mm. you know he does. He's the dude that does the loop station stuff in his dressing gown. He's so awesome. Hmm. And like you know, now he's got all the best dudes coming in and doing like features with him, and they're just in the apartment, and that's <laughs> he just is in his underwear from muddy the night before or something. Just it's like, a new generation of people. Yeah, a new age of music. People are making monies in various different ways. But see, he, do did, he does do. things like donations and stuff. Yeah. Like in, um, yeah. We, I want to start doing some streaming of like either making tones, fixing tones, mixing. You and I could do like a live stream where we cool. mix one of our tracks from start to finish. We can we can say people's names on this, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, no, Dragon Force, I know, got sponsored by Twitch and then they made their entire album on live and yeah, see, that's cool. interactions that is really and stuff. Cool. And yeah. Cool. yeah, we could totally really start sick. doing stuff like yeah. that. We'll take well. fan suggestions. And then they played live at Twitch. Don't, Twitch don't put that snare drum there. Move it to the next beat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks. You don't get any writing credit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's a good idea, though. Yeah. So I think, um, you know, if anybody wants that, let us know. Yeah. Because yeah, that would be, be really cool just to just jump on live stream. It's more of a learning experience as well. Like any knowledge that you and I have as two producers, like we can mm. both – Show how I mix, how you mix, and then anyone watching could be like, "Oh, well." Wow, they can even of ask questions. Live, yeah, exactly. You've got the whole live aspect, passing on knowledge, idea. and so what would we do for that? More like social lives, like Facebook, Instagram. 
Yeah, YouTube, and just YouTube, announce Twitch, it early so people are Twitch, prepared. Yeah. I feel like you got it's something you have to announce early though, like give people time to be like, hey, Saturday at ten a.m. Yeah, you or have to do a live yeah, stream for two hours. Unless you're doing it all the time, in which case it's just like tune in whenever you. Like Whenever you do, yeah. See, I prefer it not all the time. I prefer it spur of the moment, not spur of the moment, but like you know, set blocks of like, yeah. hey, we're gonna live stream this. We're gonna mix this song from start to finish. Yeah. Even a yeah. song we've already released, we'll just take it all to its bare bones and just mix it again and just show people. I reckon how we'd go about it. Of our songs people would love that. That's a great idea. That's a really cool idea, actually. Yeah, and the same thing could be done. Not even just for mixing, it could be done for writing. You know, the whole writing session, even yeah. just being like a fly on the wall in a writing session. Well, I watch lots of people or bands in the studio just for that exact reason, just to be like, they have some dude that's sitting in the back of the studio session with a camera that's like, Dead Mouse does it all the time. And yeah, it's he awesome. Does. Yeah. And sometimes he, he makes so really, <laughs> sometimes he makes really good stuff and he just deletes it. <laughs> He's like, nah, it's crap, but he just deletes it. Like, I can relate to that. He's, oh, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> he's amazing though but like that's the kind of quality control i guess you have to have yeah but the, yeah that kind of fly on the wall type situation would be amazing um so i think we should start setting that up that yeah we really could mount cool. a camera up on the wall somewhere yeah. connected to a cam's computer could have yeah, all well, the studio is getting more and more full every bloody week yeah. so yeah especially now that someone's moved in yes cam and i are bunking in together now and um that's exciting news. So that just means more music. And yeah, we can actually finish these ideas that I write because I have ADHD and I keep writing new riffs every freaking day and I can't finish any of them.